Hello everyone and welcome back to Smart Gadgets. Today we're going to show you how to connect your Amazfit GTS3 with Zep app on Android phone. Also in the next video we will show how to connect with iOS device. Before we start don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and share with your guys. So, let's begin here immediately, we have here the Amazfit GTS3, and let us see how to connect it. To download Zep app you can find on Play Store by name, or you can find by QR code it will show when you power on for the first time your watch, also you can scan QR code by manual and download app. We will scan QR code and will go directly in Play Store to install app. As you can see, we have already installed it. We will open app and login by our user, you can create new account, or you can use your Google, Facebook or any third party account. We will use our Google account. We will allow access Zep app to GPS, Bluetooth and contacts manages phone call. We will go to profile, as you can see, we have already connected Amazfit GTS2. To connect new watch go to add and choose which device you want to connect we will go to watch. Don't forget to turn on Bluetooth and GSP on your smartphone also you should to allow app to use your camera. Now we will scan QR code and will wait to connect. We will accept in or watch and this is pairing successful. Now we can see some user guide and will wait until watch will sync with app account data. In the top up app, we will see watch name and battery percent whereas below, here we also have many tools and settings which we will see together. In store here we can change the watch face, as you can see, we have plenty of them. Let's choose this one and press sync, we will wait to download it, and immediately, it will synchronize with the watch, and we will have a brand new face in your watch. Amazfit have more than 100 watch face with matching always on display. Next, we have App Store here we can install some other app we will try to install calculator. As you can see it will install very quickly and easily. Next option we have notification and reminders here we can activate notification for incoming calls. App alerts first we should allow Zep app to get notification, here we can choose from which apps we will get notification in our watch. Next, we have an standing remainder, incoming SMS and goal notification here we can enable or disable notification form that. On the health monitoring we can enable or disable and costume heart rate monitoring, sleep monitoring, stress monitoring and blood oxygen monitoring. On the watch setting we can costume some setting parameters like display and brightness, vibrating, workout, we can select the workout type to detect, and GPS mode, D&D setting, off, wrist lock and password if you want to put password to, unlock your watch. Long press side button, you can choose which app you want to activate when you press and hold side button. Next we have edit quick access app we can add, remove or rearrange items. Also on the edit control center we can rearrange items. Next we have wearing direction, we can choose left or right button. Next we have office voice control and system language where you can choose language. On the all list management we can add, remove or rearrange app on the main menu. On the shortcut cards we can add, remove or rearrange shortcuts.
On the app settings we can install more apps or customize some app parameters. Next, we have Find Watch, Discoverable, Activity Heart Tear Sharing. Real-time data, binding limits which we can enable. And below we have System Updates, and we have Last System Update. So, guys this was all for today's video. In the next video you will see how to connect with iOS. I hope you find in this video some interesting and helpful things, if so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we will see in the next video with another smart device.